Okay, when we start working on the flower itself, here's a couple tricks I found out it's easy and nicer to work with. First, if we just going and created hydro, probably just put those petals around, it will put it straight on top. We can specify some of the angles if we don't using on random angle, but I also want to blend a little bit nicer together them. So we'll actually going to use and create another segment on top, which will work as the blending for us to the segment and help us to create some of the interesting effect with different angles. So to do this, let's just create this small segment, which will connect to this top of the flower. And let's go call this. bottom flower okay and I'll just something very separate okay as well you know what let's switch to maybe 0 0.1 just small size we'll just go connect to the stem so it is um, we don't need put it them on the side so inside the stem we need go a flower and access which to the top of the segment so just placed right here notice how it's bending because we have a 30 degrees change right here but I want to actually this is how I say it will be blend uh, bending around and if you try to do to do this with hydro and other stuff you have a quite bit problem to um, put them together so for this actually I want to do maybe you know 15 degrees but the randomness will go 45 degrees. So in this case, it always will be moving in different areas. Okay. And okay. The next we can go inside. Bottom. Let me kind of readjust them. Okay. And we can switch this to the user define. And we don't need just table here. So I want to just go maybe reduce. And notice I creating slightly larger because what I'm going to do is enable blending with parent. Now look how nicely we have it right here coming with our parent and we have it wide area that we can use it with the blending other petals. And you always if you want to see angle you can go in your root and just click on different random and you can see how they're going. In some cases, one time I think I saw right here some problems. So I need to address probably with with this or address with the angle. And for that one, we can go inside the stem. 45 or let's go inside here and we'll just set to 0.1. So it's will address some of these problems. And when we start blending with these with other ones, it will fixed as well, but at least it's somewhat fixing in the point. You know what? Maybe reduce from 45 to let's go to 35. So we'll just keep it angle about right. Okay, right here. Okay. Um, we have nice connections. Let's go now add some of the petals. And we'll do this by creating hydra. Remember, it will go around. Okay. So I'll just go on panels and put it any bright color. And we'll go take this and connect to the bottom of our flower. Okay, in the bottom of our flower, I want to switch this to tip of the segment so it will create a right on top currently it's invisible because we need to connect something to this and we need to connect the flower petals again because I want to create thickness I'm going to use a segment for this and in many cases you actually can reuse your leaf segment if you want it to create um, the petals but in this case let's go just create brand new 
Okay. Uh, I'll just name it shortly. I'll just go white color this. Okay, again, um, a link. Remember, we work with a smaller, so I'll just set one for now. Okay, and we'll go to connect to output. Notice how wide spread there. So inside our hider, we need to go and reduce radius. Let's put it 0.1 radius. And you can see it's bring quite a bit closer to our end. Again, maybe you know, 0 0.08 will work a little bit better. But notice right here, they did not match. And the reason is why, because the angles in other ones, how they convert. Okay, let's go inside our flower. And notice right here on our, we have it, so we need to put it zero. Okay, now they're matching well together. Let's work a little bit on the shape and we'll do very similar things that we kind of done before. Okay, so we'll go, let's use user define for this. Okay, we'll go 0.1. Maybe we'll change, we'll see, I want maybe a little bit wider. So let's go with 0.2. Okay, we'll go to, um, let's work on a radius as well till we're here. We'll just take it down one side. Add a one. Same things right here on the ends. And it's almost look like a, some grenades or bombs maybe. And let's move it out. Let's move on one end and other. So we had a quite bit interesting flower, like balloon flower maybe. Um, Let's click OK and with a section again, I'll go to modify. I'm just going to bring this down, right here down and shrink the ends. And now I just want to extend on both ends right here. There you go, let's go click OK. And here's kind of, we have our flower. Of course, we now need to tweak with the sizes. And let's go 0 0.15 maybe. It's look a little bit better right here, blending. So maybe actually 1.5, let's go with this. Yeah, that's look a little bit better, but right edge. That's why I want to work with the blending. So it's closer to the end and I'm going to move this end and bring this down. So notice right here, it's where we start connecting. And now it's look better. Again, this is um, how you like to work. So your flowers, you can modify. You actually same thing. So you can take another ones, um, add the flower and create multiple going on top. So we'll maybe do this in a, when we end up with tutorials, just a little bit modification, see how we can add complexity if you need it. Okay, here's other things. I want this flower to trapezium to go down or go up. But the, my problem is if I'm going inside area and right here, maybe add trapezium 10, it's apply sometimes differently for me. So you can always, okay, let's go right here, segments. Okay, let's go to um, right this area. We can always create just external uh, random and assign directly to our trapezium. So in this case, we have a 25. Okay, and we can set, um, actually, you know what, let's go 
set this to zero. And if we set random to 10, it will apply. But notice how they switch all leaves because it's not necessary randomness, it's applied per each flower. But as I said before, I want to apply some random. So I don't want all flowers will be exactly the same, um, maybe doing 25. No, because they all will look exactly the same. Um, for this one, let's do this. We're going to create constant. Go to random constant number. And I want to set maybe from 0 to 25 um, anywhere. And we'll take this random and we'll connect to the bead. So now when we're creating, okay, let's go right here. When we modify it, you can see it will apply also in a uh, different number. So we can just go ahead, try different values. And you can see if this values is working or not. Um, let's maybe set minus 25 just to see as example. And there you go. Now we have a different shape of the flowers and they apply to all leaves as well so it's kind of nice um, same things maybe you know to do for the ling because when we do with ling for the petals the problem with this will be they all will be same ling and instead I maybe want to create let's look 0.3 right now you know too small so let's 0.6 I want to do anywhere from 0.6 to 0.5. So um, we'll go to create another constant random number. And we'll go maybe from 0.5 to 0.8. And we'll take this and connect to the link. So now we can test and you can see the randomness in the link of the flower. Again, this is nice because it will create, um, as we're going around, it will create different link for this plant. And that will fix slightly problem if we go inside and try create randomness add, that will go random to specific um, single petals, not to overall size. Okay, so right here we have it our set. The next things I want slightly work on the middle, just add small details to this. And for this one, we'll just go very simple, go to create segment. Okay, I'm going to again, user define. We'll go create point zero five, small one. Okay, link maybe point zero two, not very big. And we'll just go and connect this to um, just before right here. New child. If you notice, it is kind of putting right on the bottom, but I want to, let's go this is top. Okay. This is, I want to put it on the top, top of the plant. So let's go to the, just so I know, rename that as well. And this is nice when you rename before, so when you connect it, it's named them properly as well. I'm going to set tip of the segment. So right here on top, we'll set this to the zero. Okay, and this is actually, I want to cover on the top right here, and it will be probably yellow color or some other colors. Um, just leave it like this for now. We can go inside our top segment. And you know what, let's put it yellow so I know it's top of our segment. Um, by enabling blend, we can smooth out a little bit these areas. Let's go put it 0 0.04. Make it bigger. 
and let's increase maybe link to one zero one okay the radius I want smooth on the top right here we can go with a Just adjusting and as well write this cup so we can kind of smoothing out top of this cup as well okay right these edges I maybe don't kind of like them so we'll go right around here let's see if we can create something more interesting looking We'll go take this down and you know let's bring this down as well just smooth over all ends okay that's look good and you know what let's um, maybe pop up even radius bigger so it's will go slightly over our leaves make them nice um, one more things I want to try with uh, the petals right here when they're connecting we can enable blend with the parents which is give it a little bit smoother effect I think we're kind of done almost with this and ready to apply some coloring to our flowers so let's do this in our next tutorial